As for other biological material, the HAB has sophisticated toilets. Shit is usually vacuum dried, then accumulated in sealed bags to be discarded on the surface. Not anymore. In fact, I even did an EVA to recover the previous bags of shit from before the crew left. Being completely desiccated, this particular shit didn't have bacteria in it anymore, but it still had complex proteins and would serve as useful manure. Adding it to water and active bacteria would quickly get it inundated, replacing any population killed by the Toilet of Doom. I found a big container and put a bit of water in it, then added the dried shit. Since then, I've added my own shit to it as well. The worse it smells, the better things are going. That's the bacteria at work. Once I get some Martian soil in here, I can mix in the shit and spread it out. Then I can sprinkle the earth soil on top. You might not think that would be an important step, but it is. There are dozens of species of bacteria living in earth soil, and they're critical to plant growth. They'll spread out and breed like, well, like a bacterial infection. People have been using human waste as fertilizer for centuries. It's even got a pleasant name, night soil. Normally, it's not an ideal way to grow crops because it spreads disease. Human waste has pathogens in it that, you guessed it, infect humans. But it's not a problem for me. The only pathogens in this waste are the ones I already have. I'll bring in more lifeless soil from outside and spread some of the live soil over it. It'll infect the new soil, and I'll have double what I started with. After another week, I'll double it again, and so on. Of course, all the while, I'll be adding all new manure to the effort. My asshole is doing as much to keep me alive as my brain. I searched through the food supplies and found all sorts of things that I can plant. Peas, for instance. Plenty of beans, too. I also found several potatoes. If any of them can still germinate after their ordeal, that'll be great. The total floor space of the HAB is about 92 square meters. I plan to dedicate all of it to this endeavor. I don't mind walking on dirt. My best bet for making calories is potatoes. They grow prolifically and have a reasonable caloric content. Why did NASA send 12 whole potatoes refrigerated but not frozen? And why send them along with us as in-pressure cargo rather than in a crate with the rest of the HAB supplies? Because Thanksgiving was going to happen while we were doing surface operations, and NASA's shrinks thought it would be good for us to make a meal together, not just to eat it, but to actually prepare it. There's probably some logic to that, but who cares? Godspeed, little taters. My life depends on you. Normally it takes at least 90 days to yield full-sized potatoes, but I can't wait that long. I'll need to cut up all the potatoes from this crop to seed the rest of the field. By setting the hab temperature to a balmy 25.5 degrees Celsius, I can make the plants grow faster. Also, the internal lights will provide plenty of sunlight, and I'll make sure they get lots of water. They say once you grow crops somewhere, you have officially colonized it. So technically, I colonized Mars. In your face, Neil Armstrong!